This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster My Podcast. And these are the Worms of the Earth. There's a monster in my podcast. A good phrase. Yes. Sounds like a Steinbeck phrase or something. Mm. Yes, the Worms of Wrath. The long-awaited yep. sequel to... Yep, the, the, the front of the Apples of Wrath. <laughs> the, um, the Grapple of Wrath. A, the Grapple. The, the Grither of Wrath. Mm. Um, this is uh, Robert E. Howard. Yes. So Conan uh, and these guys. Yeah. Um, so going to get this out of the way. Uh, this trucks in the ancient. Uh, oh, wait, no. D d different thing. Sorry. I, I was. Okay. Uh, wait, no. It. Ah, damn it. I, th this is the thing. This is this is the monster that trucks in the uh, little people will, will curse your crops superstition. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and kind of the cause of it. But also. The the most confusing thing about this is so they were they they used to worship Yig. Mm -hmm. Yig is a gigantic snake. Yes. Now they worship uh, Sthagwa. <laughs> Friendship um, ended with Yig. Yeah, <laughs> relationship. It's complicated. Yeah. Um, but they've been cursed by Yig, and Yig Yig's curse is to turn them into snakes. So like they... ninety nine percent. What does Yig do to the things he likes? I think he also turns them into snakes. <laughs> like, I think so. Sure? When you're a yig, yeah, every every hammer looks like a yeah. It looks yeah, it looks like a, a every stick looks like it's the snakes. <laughs> you know? So so I think the idea is they were cho like they they were serpent people who were chosen of yig. They forsake him or they they forsook him, and he said, "Well, fuck you! You don't get to be snake people. I'm going to have you slowly devolve just to be snakes." It still seems like confusing to me. I'm pretty sure yeah. he turns people he likes into snakes as well. I mean, we'll get to yig near the end of the god. Right, after. right. And Yig's kind of a bummer. I've never really liked Yig being no. part of the mythos. Like he just seems very traditional. Mm -hmm. He seems like a Conan god, yeah. honestly, like a snake, like a serpent. Mm -hmm. you know, the serpent people, uh, Conan used to fight. Yeah. Um. Before, before he got woke. <laughs> yeah. Before, <laughs> before he got milkshake duck. Before the Me Too generation came for Conan. Oh. Um. But the uh. The, so there are three different ways you can devolve. Uh, as one of these things, it's the three, different stages, like three stages. And like, you will stay at like the, like any given, any given clan will kind of stay at one of these stages for generations. It's yeah. like a, it's like a very gradual kind of a, uh, kind of deal. Which of these would you choose? Which of these stages <sighs> would you like to be? I, I want any of the ones that could do the curses, because I think that that would be the way That'd I would cool. maintain, I would maintain a stranglehold on the, on the countryside. Yeah. 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 So when, one, when you can do that in stage one, I think. You you can do it in stage one and two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would have gone for stage three. Oh yeah. Where where you're just a snake. Just a snake with a, a little bit smarter, <laughs> but can't cast spells. <laughs> I just feel like it would be not that that big of a change for now. I don't think my lifestyle would be at that disrupted. <laughs> you know. I mean, well, it's okay. So I I can go along with you on the bubble thing. I feel like my lifestyle. I, I'm not necessarily like <laughs> coughing up rat bones right now. Sure. Well, I think the snakes can eat regular food. Like, I bet you I could get someone to take. Like, if I try, if I got the third stage curse of Yig, mm -hmm. I like to think that we're close enough friends that you'd put me in a nice terrarium and feed me. You know, <laughs> I have to like, take care of sandwiches. you like you were Tim Cat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, I would. I'd like to think that you know, uh, like how would my you get to me? Patreon proceeds. <laughs> well, like a, a movie, like a long journey. Okay, with a voice, <laughs> the voiceover by Pat Oswalt. Like, whoa, I'm going across the stream. I guess I'm my own vine. Tarzan and yell and like doing all these cute little bits as I snake across America. You know, make my way over to you. <laughs> the, um... Call my active final scene as you ring the doorbell somehow and I open it up and I see you. And you just <laughs> you visit, recognize me. You just, no, you hiss at me. I like, I smash you with a garbage can. <laughs> I haven't heard from Gary in weeks. <laughs> it's, it's, go. It's, it's not like when Yig curses you, you get like a cur like your all your friends get a courtesy card, like a note, a change of address like notification. Sunshine. Yes, but yeah. please, please forward all correspondence to a hole in the ground. It, I would, but you're also more intelligent than normal snakes. So don't you think I could I could spell out the word like help with my body before you smashed me? Like if you, it'd be like a, a Orson from Charlotte's Web. Like if you opened the door mm. and you just saw a snake and it was spelling out the word coal, <laughs> would you smash it or would you be curious? Well, I'd probably lose my mind. What if it spelled out patreon.com slash duckfeed TV? Would oh. you know it's me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeed TV. 